morning and happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It's the middle of the week and that always makes me very happy because I feel like once Wednesday is passed, it's like most of the week is done. Um, today, um, well, first of all, I'm just going to give you an update on Alfie if you watched the last vlog. Although he's going to make me lie. He's better. It doesn't look like it there because he just woke up. He's half asleep. Hello, baby. Hello. And this video is not sponsored by Neurofen, but Neurofen is our friend at the moment because we need it, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> so Alfie has a real infection. Um, we haven't seen the doctor because uh, I spoke to the doctor on the phone and um, explained everything that happened. And because his ear is draining uh, the disgusting fluid out, um, so we're going to wait um, 48 hours since yesterday to see if we give him antibiotics or not. The doctor and I agree that uh, because the infection is draining out, it's more than likely not necessary, but we are keeping an eye on him and we will give him the antibiotics if he needs them. So um, I'll make a decision about that tomorrow, whether we get the prescription for it or not. Um, but overall, he's been, since that, that fluid started to come out yesterday, it's just been improving so like he doesn't seem in he only f seems in pain whenever i'm trying to clean everything that's coming out of his ear like if i'm playing or not playing around but if i'm touching his ear when he's awake if he's asleep uh, or half asleep he doesn't even budge when i go near his ear so i'm guessing it's not a sharp pain it's just annoying him because it's been a pain there constantly and it's been very painful before he's probably just scared of me going near it but uh, his mood is much better, he's not as grumpy, he's not as clingy, I mean he still likes to have some hugs but like yesterday he was glued to me and I needed to hold him really close, it was a bit a bit scary. <laughs> um, so yeah, today James is, uh, has a half day but he won't be back before, I would say about 5 o'clock or so, um, because he has to get his front tires changed and his wheel alignment sorted and his MOT car wash at some point as well. Um, his MOT is not before next weekend but we have a car service this weekend so we can't really do that then and then he's working during the week so it's just, yeah, it's just the best because he has the day off anyway the afternoon off anyway it's just best to do it then and then he's going to the doctors because he's do, starting his uh, hormone replacement therapy today um he will have injections every three months for now and then we'll just review they will just review the dosages and stuff every time he has a blood test to control like his hormone levels and see how it's improving and adjusting gradually so that's the first one this week um and we'll see hopefully uh, it's going to take a few months for the levels to adjust, but um, if everything goes to plan, by the time the summer comes, it should start to have more energy and be able to uh, cope better with things. So that hopefully will help him a lot. Same with also not retaining so much water and being able to lose some of the weight he had gained during um, chemo and stuff so it should it should you know overall improve a lot of aspects of his life so fingers crossed it's all going to plan uh but yeah and i'm working i have here this afternoon so james should be coming home around the time i finish so that's quite nice it means we can have dinner all together and it's it's nice sometimes to, to have that and i'm gonna work on designing stickers for this morning if alfie would let me uh but i'm doing really well with my work this week and yes so my house though is a mess but you just can't have everything so i figured this is mess it's gonna stay a mess if i clean it up right now it will just be mess again within 10 seconds because alfie will tilt the boxes over so i'm not gonna worry about mess during the day i'll just clean it up in the evenings when he's in bed and he's not gonna mess it up until the morning but in the meantime i'm just gonna focus on stuff that are more important sometimes i get asked why do i need to have several planners and i'm gonna give you an example of why i need to have several planners uh, since the end of last week, um, I have not uh, used my work planner because I um, thought I had everything in my head. I just realized right now, as I was about to edit the vlog uh, of uh, Monday and Tuesday of this week, I put all the footage on my, on my computer and I realized, oh, there is all the footage of the weekend still in my camera. How did that happen? Did I not delete it? Usually I take it out and I delete it from the memory card. And I realized I never 
really edited. I don't remember editing anything with that content in it. Turns out that on Monday, when I went back to all my editing and stuff, um, if I had had my planner, there would have been a note to say to edit and upload the vlog of the weekend. It's now Wednesday and I've just realized I haven't done those things because I haven't used my work planner. This is why I have a planner. So apologies about that. Uh, what I'm doing is that I'm going to upload the one today and one tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I'm sorry about this. I I forgot because I don't have any functioning. I don't have any inter. I don't have a lot of internal memory. Uh, and my planner are like external hard disks. If you want, <laughs> sure. A bit a bit geeky too. So yeah, I didn't use my work external hard drive, hard drive and uh, the result is that um, I've just now edited that vlog and it's going to be up tonight and yeah, I'm sorry. Alfie has made a break for the office and he thinks I haven't seen him going. So we're going to go and see what he's up to. He's been very quiet for the past minute, so I'm going to go and check. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you just sitting there? Are you doing important work? Is that your important voice? Are you doing some important work? Oh, you're going to go into the other chair. Hi. And what next? Uh, I didn't have to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No, it has to dry, baby. Uh. At the moment, our rain cover always ends up on the back of our chair. It's actually fine for you. Because we need it in the morning and in the afternoon. So I, gave, I leave it to dry on the back of a chair in between. And now what are you going to do? Hmm? But let's go back to the living room monkey. I'm going out. <laughs> it's almost seven o'clock. I'm going to an art and craft um, class. Sorry, I have the blue screen of my car shining. Um, should I start, if you don't know, association where I go for the parent and children stuff and all that. They are running, uh, they are starting to run classes for parents that are called Don't Forget to Play where parents can go and have a bit of fun and chat and a cup of tea and do some arts and craft. It's the first time I'm going, I don't know if it's any good, I have no idea what I'm going to make but I think the purpose of it is really to get parents to have a break and have some time uh, with other children. So this is where I'm going, luckily it's at a time where James can mind the boys. They run them sometimes during the day and they have a crash for them, but this one they didn't. So good that James was here. Alfie's just waking up from a late-ish nap and He's very cranky, so the plan is that I'm going there for an hour and a half. I'm literally five minutes drive from the house. So I'm going to keep my phone and if um, James, uh, if when I'm away, Alfie is cranky, sorry, there's a car stopping there. I don't know if it's waiting for me to go. No, they are just stopping. Uh, if Alfie is cranky when I'm away and he's not good, when I come back, we'll phone the out of our doctors uh, to see if they want to see him. Uh, and if not, we'll just can you stick to the plan of phoning only if he gets worse basically. So I'm just back and I'm going to show you what I've made. It's not finished and it got a bit damaged with the rain. But I've made a frame no, with I'll feel straight hot. like <laughs> this. Um, I'll fix it but they also all gave us some um, art therapy coloring books and a little thing with pencils inside uh, which was nice and there was only four, four moms there but uh, we actually had a nice time just chatting about different things and it was quite fun and they are doing another one next month it will be during the day but uh, they are providing a crash for uh, if you want to leave your child and they said for children who are we are hoping to get a space for actually for their little um, play group in September they were saying it's a good way for children to have like a kind of transition to before they go to the playgroup thing so yeah so i'm gonna eat some of my pizza and i haven't had any dinner yet 
and uh, Alfie's fine, so we'll keep an eye on him, <laughs> like I said before, and we'll see. I'm gonna stop the vlog here for now, just have some dinner, relax, and um, I will see you in the morning. Good morning, it's Thursday, and we've woken up to a big storm, and I'm gonna make you listen to the noise of the wind, <laughs> because it's pretty impressive. We've already had to secure all the stuff in our garden, quite a good thing I wasn't planning on keeping my corn going and all because it's um, completely destroyed um, I've put my little trees in places that are either against the shed or something so I think they are quite sheltered but it's pretty bad I'm being quiet because I'll feel asleep hold on I'm trying to make you listen whenever it comes back like kind of rotating and it's a bin day so it's gonna be interesting this recycling bin collection day so it's probably gonna be covered like it's gonna be everywhere obviously when I'm filming the noise stops but In case you're being asked, the person responsible for this is Storm Doris, which is hitting our side of the world at the minute. Um, yeah, and um, it definitely is. This is a picture of Doris from the sky just about half an hour ago, and we are here. I got a message that uh, my dress had arrived and I need to collect Alfie's pyjamas so I decided Alfie was getting really annoyed in the house the sun is actually out now the wind has pushed away all the clouds might not last very long but I'm gonna drive to the shopping centre and uh, collect my stuff and come back I don't really like to drive in the wind but to be honest uh, I'm getting very frustrated in the house because I can't get anything done Alfie is super clingy and I'm hoping a little change of scenery will distract him. Already being in the car is very happy, so fingers crossed it's a good sign. So we're back home and I didn't get my parcels. Not because there was a problem, no. Because I have a stupid belly. That's the answer why I don't have the parcel. Made it, I drove to the car park, so you're talking like four minutes drive maybe, is that? To get there, four minutes drive, and within four minutes my belly decided to go insane to the point that my quickest option to be near, like the quickest to your toilet was to drive back home because when you have a normal two year old who hates a buggy it's actually quicker to go home and not have to put him in than to get out in the shopping centre put him in the buggy, walk over to the toilet and all that so yeah, that happened this is life with my belly, it's rubbish and there's nothing I can do about it right now so instead of being frustrated I'm just gonna decide that today is cancelled today nothing is happening, I'm gonna stop being frustrated I'm gonna stop trying to do stuff because it's clearly not happening I feel like someday the universe is telling me just give up on trying today, start again tomorrow or maybe even later on tonight, but right now anyway, it's just not happening. So I've given up on trying to work because it's clearly not working. I have a monkey there eating. Now, I, I don't put it to put him in that cage, okay, just just before anybody gets worried. This is what he, where he loves to go. He actually took the screw out of the wall to get that open, to open to one side, to be able to get in. Alfie loves little closed, but not closed. See, if you put him, if you make him a house with cardboard boxes that is completely closed, he won't be happy because he gets scared. But he loves to be in little corners where, that are still kind of open, but it is like it creates his little place. So he's having a picnic in there. He has his food on the, on the ground there and his drink, um. and he's eating in his little house, and he's happy enough. So I'm going to embrace that moment of peace. Uh, because it's not going to last very long 
and yeah just relax because if i don't my belly will be like that all afternoon i've just reached a point where i couldn't stand the amount of mess in the living room with toys everywhere anymore there's toys constantly everywhere and most of the time alfie just enjoys emptying the boxes and kind of swimming in the toys <laughs> doesn't matter which toys they are as long as there's some kind of mess of toys that he can swim around he's happy uh, but I'm not happy with that <laughs> and he's playing mostly with the vehicles and the kitchen stuff so this is now all the toys on our way so this is the kitchen all the kitchen stuff and the cubes are in here oh some of the Lego Duplo are here I have a lot of them upstairs but I'm not going to bring them all down because I think that's more than enough for here and this is kind of vehicles trucks houses and stuff and then the other stuff there but just to get an idea i'm going to show you how much i removed from this living room because it's a bit ridiculous this hold on so how can i give you um okay this is a i'm going to put a volvic bottle just to, just to give you an idea of the size this is a whole big bottle, okay, so it's a one and a half litre bottle and this is all of Alfie's stuff and this is all of Owen's stuff. Bear in mind that all of this was up the stairs in his room just a few months ago. It gradually has been making its way down the stairs and never going back and I'm tired of this. So I decided if there's less toys to make make with, hopefully there will be less mess. <laughs> so we'll see, we shall see. I bet you that in a few weeks it'll be the same again, but at least for now I'm a bit relieved because it was seriously driving me nuts. This is take two of the shopping centre trip. Are you ready, baby? Alfie yeah. apparently has to bring an empty bottle and some spoons with him. I mean, you never know if you <laughs> <laughs> encounter a wild yeah. animal, you might be able to distract it. Oh no, he's in the toy box. Come on, Alfie, let's go. Say bye to the box. Bye, house and uh, bye, box. Bye! Look at this lovely evening at the shopping centre and if you just turn your head Welcome to the dark side. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't look as bad here, but it's so dark We were in the driving and one side of the road was like this like really bright and light and then the other side was like completely dark It's ridiculous. I don't know what's happening to this country today and this storm is so just, stupid. Did you just said I go around the world? Owen's thinking that it's going around the world so we, we've reached so the limit of the time change one, between yeah. day and night. That, and one, that will happen in one of the UK cartoon episodes. Oh, that must be right then. Well, that must be what happened. Anyway, we made it to the shopping centre. Yep. We have to go like two parcel. One in next, one in Sainsbury's. Come back to the car go for a little drive to the drive of mcdonald's because these monkeys are getting mcdonald's because james is away until late and i'm being a lazy mommy <laughs> right now and i'm wrecked and i just can't be bothered cooking a dinner so i'm gonna be lazy and yeah so yeah let's see and hopefully we get some batman cups yes we got some batman cups I'm going to round again. We got some Batman cups in McDonald's, which were really cool because they have a lid and you can put a straw in, and they're perfect. We got two, and then one and one red. yeah, and then we went back later, and suddenly they just reverted back to having toys from like months ago that probably found at the bottom of a cupboard and just were handing out, and we were very disappointed. So we're hoping to get Batman cups, but with the Batman stuff, you can also get masks. I don't want a mask. I want the cups. We want the cups, don't we? Yeah, but if we don't, if we have the mask, it'll be okay. So we can actually dress up. Yeah, but it, at least if we don't get a Furby again, that would be good, though, won't it? Yeah. Because we have, uh, I don't know how many Furbies around the house, because they were on in McDonald's for months. This is not okay. So, I'm completely hyper. I'm, I'm so tired. I'm going insane. Right. Are you, ready? are you ready for the mission? Yeah, but we have to do the yokai's and the yokai way and I get it by it. Okay, if you don't know what a yokai is, I would invite you to uh, Google it because this vlog is probably already long um, enough. A yokai? No, it's alright when they can check it. They will do a little bit of homework. Okay? What? Because the vlog otherwise is going to be a gigantic vlog. Yeah. Okay, so they'll go and check on the internet. Alfie Bum, are you happy? But actually, the yokai actually attack you, but it's not your 
friends, they don't attack you. Okay, befriend the yokai and go and check what it is. We did it. We got the dress. And I think it fits. It's hard to show from there. I need to go and see upstairs. Plus I'm wearing a very baggy top and um, very um, and traction bottoms underneath. So it's not the best way to see. But um, we went to McDonald's. We got the yeah. cups. But we're missing a chip, like a small fries, like a small portion. One of the Happy Meals didn't have any. Thank you very much, McDonald's. So I shared between the two of them, thankfully. They don't have massive appetites, but it's just a bit annoying. So I'm gonna wait until the boys go up to um, try my... It's hard to say. I can't see properly there, as you see in the... It's not as wide as I thought, but I think it's still wide enough. Um, Owen, th Owen thinks it looks nice. I haven't seen it. I'm trying to see in the oven. It's hard to see. Can you see me in the oven there? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll go up on Jason's oh, home. So I just checked my jungle dress. I just changed my top so it would look a bit better than my big baggy one. Um, I'm going to give the camera to James so he can show you, but I'm definitely keeping it. I'm very happy with it. And it has pockets. I can't see what I'm doing if you don't have them. <laughs> so it has pockets. There's no, I wish there was a pocket there, but I might actually decorate it a bit. But uh, yeah, can you go down a bit? Oh, you're doing so gentlemen. And it's not as wide as I thought, but it's actually not too bad, I think. What do you think? I think it's very pretty and practical. Yes, that's pockets. I can put my phone in all. So yeah, I have a dress and I got it for £15 in Sainsbury's. Uh, full price is £20, so even full price I would have got it because it's it's quite good. I, I'm going to stop this vlog here. Um, I usually finish the week and have a vlog of the weekend, but I vlogged quite a lot of rants <laughs> over the past few days. And this weekend we have a birthday party on Sunday, so I can't film a lot of the day. So I figured I can do Friday, Saturday, Sunday together. So I will see you in the next vlog on Monday night.